What's up everyone, V here, and uh, yeah, I'm back, finally, uh, sorry for the little two-week hiatus, uh, I'd say that's unlike me, but uh, it's very well like me, I've uh, I've had many gaps like that before, most of those are purely out of laziness, this one, kinda, I uh, had a trip to New York, and then when I came back I just got very lazy and just didn't want to make a video, but I have a lot of stuff built up, and to s get back into the groove i decided just to review something nice fun and easy i know i said i'd review kang next but i just want to start off, start off with something a bit easy which is uh this guy this is the uh dc multiverse black adam dr fate i think that's the name for it this is the uh mcfarland dc uh dr fate figure from black adam a movie which i actually enjoyed I didn't see it in theaters. I watched it like uh back in January and I did enjoy it. I uh it had some fun action. Uh story was all right. And Dr. Fate was the one character I was hyped for the most because I don't know a whole lot about him, but he has a really cool design. And like a lot of DC characters, if you have a if he has a cool design, I'm kind of interested. That's just how I am for most characters. But it's happened a lot with DC characters. So he was the one I was looking forward to the most. And uh, spoiler alert, um, because uh, I'll spoil the movie. But it's been out for a while. Yeah, he dies, which was aggravating because he's the only character I was really hyped for. Although I did really enjoy Hawkman. I think that's his name. And ooh, what was his name? Is it Adam Black? Not not Black. Black Adam. That's, that's the, that's the Rock's character. What's, not Adam Smasher? The guy that has the Ant-Man powers. I forgot his name, but I enjoyed his character too. Also contemplated getting the figure of him too, but I decided just on Dr. Fate. I got him back at Christmas. So yeah, I've had this guy for a while, but uh, let's, let's get into it. Uh, You know, here is the uh, normal average uh, multiverse packaging. You know, it's bland. It's boring. Uh, out of all the packages for figures that I collect, it's probably my least favorite. I mean, you got all the cool comic art in the back. Ow. <laughs> God dang. It knew I was dissing it and it decided to stab me. But yeah, it's got the cool comic art in the back. But like... It's just, it's not interesting. Unlike Marvel Legends, they got all these cool arts on the side. A unique shape. This is just a rectangle. But you got DC Multiverse, DC Black Adam, Doctor Fate trademark. Got the nice tampo there. The trim. Got Doctor Fate Black Adam on the side. Black Adam McFarlane toys. T Twelve plus. This, this one's for the big boys. Uh, I mean. You might as well not even look at it until you're in high school. Black Adam. 22 moving parts! Uh, McFarlane toys. McFarlane toys. Dr. Fate, but smaller. And the little side window. And on the back, you actually get a pretty cool artwork of him. I do gotta admit, though, the backs of the boxes on DC figures are actually good. Because the whole thing is just got the cool art and it's not covered up by a bunch of text. I think that's like all on the bottom, which is nice. And got Dr. Fate, Black Adam, McFarlane Toys, Black Adam. Hashtag McFarlane Toys. Uh, I won't be doing that. And then a, a nice artwork of the character. So, yeah. Um, bring the character in. Of course, this is a uh, 7-inch scale, right? Yeah. Had to remember the numbers. So, of course, it doesn't scale well with Marvel Legends at all. But he is cool. Looking at his accessories, um, he comes with a card with that same artwork, but smaller, of course. Dr. Fate Black Adam. And then on the back, you have the data file. Real name, Kent Nelson. Upon wearing the ancient alien golden helmet of fate, Kent Nelson transforms from kindly academic... from transforms from kindly academic into a mystical sorcerer is that i feel like they're missing a word there one of the founding members of the justice society dr fate i mean justice society trademark dr fate trademark is able to f forego all emotion to envision future outcomes conjuring terrifying illusions and bewitch his opponents with that 
with power that outmatches even the powers of the gods. As you witnessed, I have the reading capacity of a toddler, and he comes with not a tiny black stand, but a clear stand that says DC there. Kind of hard to tell. That's better. And it's a flight stand, which doesn't look like it would work at all, but it does. As you can see, he can get it, but his cape has to go like that, get it around, and he actually hovers pretty well. He, uh, he can just ominously hover towards you. It's a little wobbly. Um, shouldn't be doing that because it's clear plastic, so it might break, but it does hold him pretty well. Granted, I don't know how well the clip is holding him as opposed to the cape balancing on it. But, you know, you can get him, like, you know, I don't know. What's a what's a flying pose? Like, oh, I'm coming for you. What's his name? Teth Adam. Ooh! I don't know. You know, for how hyped I was, he didn't do all, uh, an insane amount in the movie, at least until the end. But, I mean, he is basically, as best I know it, kind of like Doctor Strange with the Time Stone, if Doctor Strange had good drip. If you want him to get him to stand, though, I realize you have to, like, bend this foot forward a bit. So he has to stand a little slanted, but yeah. And the stand itself has a bit of articulation. you got a hinge joint up and down. And the clips rotate. And that's it. And I do believe this part goes into it separately so yeah and uh for his next accessories he doesn't have any i swear i was misremembering him having alternate hands but i didn't i couldn't find any and it didn't look like anyone any of that would be in the box so if he has alternative hands uh and i just lost them it is what it is wouldn't be the first time but yeah, talking about the figure, finally, uh, he's cool, um, he feels, he's got the, uh, McFarlane quirks that make me despise the line, but compared to most, he actually does hold up, and I think he might be my favorite McFarlane figure. At first, he did look disproportionate, like he had a really small body, but I think that's just due to the fact that this chest thing hangs down really far. It looks like it'd be a collar thing. But it actually goes onto, like, his chest and goes past his chest. Kind of hard to describe, but it does make it look like it'd ride more, like, on above the pecs, but it actually rides on the bottom of the pecs. That's movie accurate. So, yeah, um, he doesn't have an unmasked head, which sucks, but, I mean, to be fair, some of those McFarlane unmasked heads are horrific. You see the Idris Elba and John Cena heads for the Suicide Squad figures, horrific, which is weird, because Harley Quinn had, like, one of the best head sculpts and paint jobs I've ever seen on just a 6, 7-inch scale figure, even without the, uh, 3D tech that Hasbro has, but, yeah, those looked bad, so his probably wouldn't look too great. I don't think he has an unmasked variant, because another quirk, they don't give you unmasked heads, they make you buy the figure again for the unmasked head, which, 9 times out of 10 isn't even worth it. But I don't think he had it. Can you tell I'm a huge fan of McFarlane figures? Can you also tell that was sarcastic? But yeah. Um, one complaint I have with this figure. Biggest complaint. Besides of kind of how the cape's back is sculpted. But it's the fact that he's not colored correctly. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because of my lighting. But he's gold and black. Which looks... It looks looks good, but it's he's gold and blue in the movie, and the artwork on the card has blue. So my question, and it's not like a dark, very dark blue, it's not black with a blue hint, no, it's literally just black. Like, there's no blue in this whatsoever, so it's, it's weird, was there concept art of him being black but again the card which maybe it's based off of i don't know it has blue so it it confuzzles me but uh it is what it is but yeah rather than that the figure is actually pretty solid getting into that head sculpt 
So, uh, I really like the mask. I like that it doesn't have the eyes, although at one moment it does have the eyes at the end. And at first I was like, ugh, the asymmetrical design, not cool. But you know what? I, I kind of dig it. Although I do prefer this more smoother side. He's got his ear showing there, but it's covered up here. He's got a little eyebrow thing. But yeah, I do like it. And it is painted gold, which is why you can kind of see some chips there. It's got a bit of damage, some wear and tear. But it looks good. He's got the nice little fin there. And then you come down to the chest. You got this gold thing, which I believe is a separate piece. Because, yeah, it's attached to the cape, I believe. So, yeah. And it is painted pretty well. And his undersuit has a lot of nice, beautiful sculpt work. It's kind of hard to tell. Actually, no, you can see it perfectly here. It's got this nice texturing, but I think it's like a bunch of symbols and shapes and all that. Yeah, because on his thigh, you can see the, uh, I don't know what that symbol is, but like, you can see it like the loop there, line there, and then it goes down. It's like the Dr. Fate symbol thing, I think. Don't get, I know little to nothing about this character, so if I get details wrong, I'm sorry. But yeah. It's kind of like the same symbol he was making when, you know, he was doing those, like, combo moves outside of Black Adam's, like, uh, capsule thing. I mean, bro was going crazy in the movie. There's like, 50 of him. So, I guess you can army build Dr. Fate. But, yeah, it looks really nice. He actually, I think it has him multiple times because it kind of looks like it's there and there as well. Then you got his belt thing, which is, again, rubbery because it's attached to the casual McFarlane diaper but actually it's the one time I think out of all the figures I have that it doesn't look like a diaper because bringing in another guy we'll compare him to later that looks like a diaper this one actually looks pretty decent and it goes all the way around to a decently bodacious booty back there you know and on the inside of the cape it's nice and gold which looks good and on the back it's a uh, black with more of that detail it's more noticeable on the cape but i just i don't like how it's wrinkled it just i don't know it looks really good on the inside but then just it's oddly wrinkled on the back it's kind of ugly but it's got a lot of nice sculpt work i'll give this figure that then some gold back there more of that nice sculpt work on the arms down to some nice gauntlets you know then you got the uh, horrific joints there, but they're not too noticeable. Again, this is probably the best figure of them I own. And he has hands, which this one just looks like the finger warped in packaging, which it might have. Or it does look like he's trying to cast some weird spell, because Doctor Strange, who we will compare him to later, does have those same kind of things. And he has this hand, which, um, I don't know, it's his, uh, fingering hand i don't know he looks like he's playing a sick air guitar hold up let's get he's like because that's what a guitar sounds like it looks like he's about to be jamming in some rock band which you know considering the fact that his name's dr fate sounds like a dope as hell rock band name like, introducing Dr. Fate! And he just, like, plays some heavy, like, Metallica-type music. I'm getting off track here. Circle. He got some kind of thunder thighs. I can't tell if his legs are warped or not. They look a little warped, but more of that nice sculpt. We're coming down to some nice boots. You know. They got holes in the top, because, you know, he's a fancy fella. Some nice sculpt work down to... The soles of his feet, which have sculpting. And if you're wondering where the words are, they're on the back of the cape. 2022. So, yeah. Um, overall, let's zoom out. He, like I said a couple times already, probably my favorite DC figure I have. Like, he's the one that has the, le like, the quirks that McFarlane figures usually have. I say quirks. The quirks that make me want to shotgun myself in the back of the head he doesn't really have any of those the cape does curve out weird but i think that's just so he can hold the stand can hold him but rather than that i think he's great there's no awkward sculpting he's decently proportioned 
um, fairly accurate to the movie too, except for the color scheme. And yeah, for articulation, he's got a ball joint at the head. Looks not really far up, but way better down. Has a decent bit of bob. Rotates. Arm moves out that far. This is a rubbery piece, so it can kind of get out of the way for when you rotate it. Upper arm rotation. Nice double jointed elbow. This joint, which has a hinge in and out, but you can rotate it and then rotate the hand to get an up and down, but I hate the joints and I don't like messing with them too much, so yeah. But that's that. He has a diaphragm joint. Moves. Did it even move forward? Moves pretty far back, though. I think he has, like, a another diaphragm right here and right here, which you'd think would get moving forward, maybe, but not really. But it can arch really far back. And can go side to side, but most importantly, it rotates. Legs kick forward pretty well, and back pretty far. Why even? Is it even a rotation, or am I rotating the plastic? But, oh lord, the splits are insane. He definitely tore his taint there. Double jointed knee. Nothing at the boot, but it does have an interesting design, so yeah. Then another one of those joints, but it goes up that far, that far, and rotates. I don't think he has a rocker. And a toe joint, and it's weird that that wasn't just molded in, like, a more gold plastic. But yeah, um, definitely cool. I like him. The articulation is pretty solid. So yeah, for comparisons, here he is next to an average Black Series figure. And yeah, you can he does not. To be fair, Black Series are a bit a bit on the small side. And a Voyager class Transformer. Bigger than that. It's the third time the train's gone past. Oh my god. Here he is next to a uh Oh my god. I can't win. I can't win. The train went in the beginning, but I paused it before it happened, so I thought I Missed it, but no. The train came two other times. I don't know if you heard it earlier, but definitely probably heard it then. Here he is next to uh, Jazzwares Master Chief, who is like around the same size. And for an average Marvel Legends, here he is next to Moon Knight. He kind of has like, Dr. Fate kind of has like a Moon Knight, Doctor Strange type vibe, which I do like. Speaking of Doctor Strange, here he is next to Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange, which is a bit of a custom. We'll be reviewing him soon. Like I said, I am very backed up. I still got stuff from Christmas to get out here. But yeah. And for some DC comparisons. Here he is next to Bloodsport. I think this is the first one I had, which I kind of customized a bit. Yeah, I have two. Because the bath piece got chewed up by one of my dogs, so I had to buy another one. Luckily, I found a good deal for him and a Peacemaker and Dark Side, which looks cool, was cool for the first day until he started falling apart. His foot came off and his arm just fell off. But yeah, would love to get that armored Dark Side, though. Sad we'll never see how that comes to fruition, but it is what it is. So yeah. It would have been cool if he had maybe, like, an effect part, but I don't expect that from McFarlane figures. So, yeah, overall, I think, said it a couple times already, I think he's the best McFarlane figure I own. Um, he's actually fun to handle. He doesn't have odd proportions and, uh, like, horrific joints that make me want to cry. So far, and I've had him for, like, two months now actually more bordering on three months and i haven't really had a problem no joints are super loose the articulation's nice the sculpting's great and although he has a black suit instead of blue he's still really cool the only problems i've even had with him is like maybe a couple paint chips on the head but that's it honestly if you like dr fate or just liked the design, or vaguely enjoyed the movie, I'd recommend picking him up. I'm probably not going to buy any of the other Black Adam figures, and if I do see the new Shazam, I might buy the Shazam figure. But, uh, 
yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking up some of that those Flash figures. I'm actually really hyped for that movie. And I'll probably see that one in theaters. Haven't seen a DC movie in theaters since... BVS. No Wonder Woman. Oh, that, that's still been a while, though. But yeah, so yeah, I, I, I think he's great. Pick him up if you want. Again, probably one of the better DC figures. Did I compare him to these two? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, here he is next to Batman and Riddler. I, I had them sitting here and I was going to compare them, but I just forgot. Yeah, these two were the better figures. He was probably my favorite until he came along, which is good because he has the loose ankles. So it kind of, but yeah, so that's about it. Uh, like, subscribe if you want. Comment, I don't know, your favorite color. I don't care. <laughs> and uh, check out my Instagram, MoonNightXO. I'm way more active on there, even though it's been a little dead post-wise there. Yeah, if you want to talk to me, can see what will be upcoming reviews. Although I did post him on my story in January and I'm just now getting around to him. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, hope you have a luxurious day and uh, um, that's about it. Uh, don't go freeing random demigod type people from caves because they might, uh, I don't know, be evil. That's it. Goodbye.